is important to note the scale of the thermometer you are using because scales differ from thermometer to thermometer. In order to read a temperature correctly, examine all markings on the thermometer. The divisions on one thermometer always represent the same number of degrees. The scale makes a big difference when reading a temperature. Look at thermometer A. Each division represents one degree and the temperature is five degrees. Now look at thermometer B, where each division represents two degrees. Comparing thermometers A and B, the heights of the red lines are the same, the zeros are in the same position, the divisions are the same in size, but the temperature is different. The temperature reading of thermometer A is 5 degrees Celsius, and the reading of thermometer B is 10 degrees Celsius. Now, take a look at thermometer C. Each division represents 5 degrees. Compare thermometers B and C. The temperature is the same, 10 degrees. The zeros are in the same position. The divisions are the same size. But this time, the heights of the red lines are different. Thermometers have different ranges so that they can be used for different tasks. For example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. The outdoor air temperature could never reach that temperature. Therefore, you would not need a thermometer that reaches 100 degrees Celsius as you would for measuring boiling water. The narrower the range, the smaller the divisions, and the more precise the reading. The range of the thermometer is based on the range of temperatures the substance that you are measuring could be. Thermometers have different ranges for different purposes. Negative 20 to 110 degrees Celsius thermometers are used for many basic chemistry tasks, such as determining the temperature change of a solution being heated. They generally have one degree divisions. 10 to 40 degrees Celsius thermometers with two tenths degree divisions are used when exact readings are required, such as finding the temperature change of a solution being cooled. Negative 5 to 50 degrees Celsius thermometers are used for environmental tasks, such as recording air and soil temperatures. Most have one degree divisions. Typically, thermometers have some divisions that are marked and some that are unmarked. To read the temperature, first determine what each division represents. This thermometer has a marked division every 5 degrees. The unmarked divisions each represent one degree. So the temperature reading on this thermometer is seven degrees Celsius. Thermometer B has a marked division every 10 degrees. Each unmarked division represents two degrees. So the temperature is four degrees Celsius. Temperature does not always fall on one of the divisions. When it does not, we have to use our best judgment. The basic rule is that any measurement device can be read to one decimal place right of the smallest division. This also means, however, that two people may read a measurement and record different answers. This is called the reading error. On this thermometer, the smallest division is one degree Celsius. The temperature can be read to one-tenth of one degree. It has a reading error of plus or minus one-tenth degree Celsius. The temperature recorded on this thermometer is five and six-tenths degrees Celsius. One student might read five and seven-tenths degrees Celsius, and another might read it as five and five-tenths degrees Celsius. According to the reading error, both answers are correct. Remember, the temperature five and seven-tenths degrees Celsius has two significant figures. The five is read directly from the thermometer, so it is certain. However, the seven is estimated, so it is uncertain, but still significant.